As I'm sure you know, this week marks the 10th anniversary of Hurricane Katrina, the big one. More than 1,800 people died, $100 billion in damage, and a major American city heavily damaged, if not all but destroyed. It's hard to remember now, but at first, New Orleans thought it had dodged the worst of this storm. The approaching hurricane took a sudden turn to the east. The eye missed the city. But then, Katrina's savage counterclockwise swirl over Lake Pontchartrain in the Gulf of Mexico slammed an unusually powerful storm surge, a wall of water against the city's flood walls and levees. Now, on paper, this shouldn't have been so bad. The walls were designed to take this, but the spongy Mississippi Delta soil underneath those walls couldn't take a pounding of this magnitude. The levees collapsed in numerous places, flooding the city, trapping thousands of residents, turning this into one of the great disasters in American history. If you've seen the pictures, it's hard to imagine that any city could rebound from something like this, but New Orleans has managed to do it. The population's come back, most of it anyway. The storm walls are rebuilt stronger than ever, and the city looks ahead to a bright future. But never again, one suspects, without a glance over its shoulder come hurricane season.